Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and in the previous episodes I have shown you how to use a social media calendar to post to Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn as well as Twitter. In this episode I will show you how to post content from your Airtable social media calendar to Slack channels. Let's get going. So the first step, we will duplicate one of the posts that we have over here and we'll move it to the bottom. And this post we would like to post on Slack. Okay, so now we have a post that we would like to post on Slack and we have created a Slack account with a workspace. This workspace is accessible to people through links. So you can add your customers here. You can add your followers or your community. In the link above, you can see how to create Slack channels like, um, like this. Uh, so right now we have it ready. And what we would like to do, we would like to post the updates from our social media calendar to the customer updates channel in this uh, Slack workspace. So for that, we have been using Integromat and we will continue building on the old scenario that we had. So this is the scenario that we have already created with uh, all the different Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook connections, and we'll continue building off this scenario. One difference between the last video and the current video is that currently this account is on a free plan and make.com has changed Twitter into a premium tier one app, which means you need to have an um, updated, uh, upgraded um, make.com account. And in this case, I just want to show you what you can do on the free version. So for that reason, we will remove the Twitter modules from, from this scenario. So let's, let's remove them here. And what we will do now is basically start with Slack. So let's look for the Slack module and we will use two types of module here. So first would be post message, create a message. And this will be our first step. We'll add a router over here and temporarily remove that. All right, so let's connect it to uh, our router. And the first step will be connecting to Slack. So what we'll do, we'll add a connection. For a pure message, you can select two types. You can select user and you can select a bot. I will show you both options. I will select bot in this case for now. The connection name will be my Slack bot. This is okay, let's click save and let's authenticate this module. Okay, now you can select to which channel would you like to post the messages. So we will select a public channel and from the public channel, we'll select customer updates. And in this case, we'll select uh, as a text, we'll select copy and we will select hashtags. We have also ability to create a more sophisticated blocks for apps using a blocks builder, which is quite nice and neat if you would like to create some more sophisticated apps. So you can select uh, specific types of buttons, displays and so on. But in our case, we'll just post a simple text message and then we'll post the message with video. OK, so let's run this one once. I need to save to remove that Twitter connection. This is saved and let's run it once. Okay, you can see this has been executed successfully. And here, because we are posting as a bot, we see a message from Integromat. There is no content here. There must be some mistake. We don't have any post that is running. So this is the main mistake. We need to change this to status approved so that it shows up in the approve view from which we are searching the record. So let's do this one more time. And in this case, you can see that the bot has posted the message from our Airtable, including the hashtags. Okay, so the next step will be once we have the message, can we also post a message with the image? So let's go back to make.com Integromat. And now we'll add a second step. I already know that to post a file, we need to download it. So I will clone the module, module to download the file. So let's clone, clone that. And we will connect it to the same router over here. Okay, content being downloaded from here, that's correct. And to upload file and text, we will have to use upload file. Okay, we will connect it back to the module that gets the file. And in this case, we need to have another connection because this upload the file we can only do as a user. 
okay you can see that it has already mapped the file from the previous module so now what we need to do is select a channel to which we would like to post it so it's going to be customer updates and the next will be the title for the image so it will be image or we can even use from the content we can use the file name and the next step will be the initial content that we want to add to it so what we will use will be copy and then the next step will be hashtags so let's click ok and let's test this one more time whether it runs correctly let's press run once and let's see what happened we can see that actually we had integromat posting this one more time since we didn't add a, a filter here and in this case we see that our user has posted the content from the from the calendar including the text description as well as the image from Airtable. Okay, so let's try to clean up this scenario a little bit. So first of all, let's get rid of this router here. We'll connect it to the main router. And this route will be executed only in the situation when this is Slack. That means that the channel array, the channel array needs to contain Slack, okay? And we will post pure message only in the case when there is no content no attachments so we'll select content does not exist and here we'll change okay and at the end we'll add a finishing module to feedback to Airtable that this has been posted in this case we don't care about any post id so we'll just remove that part and clone this one more time and let's re auto arrange it Okay, let's run it one more time. And you can see that the route with the file download has been executed. And this particular post has been marked as live. And we can see it posted one more time here inside of Slack channel. Okay, let's try doing the same thing with video. So we'll clone the old video, duplicate the record, and let's change the channel to Slack and let's change the status to approved. Here you can select whatever date you would like for this to be posted. In this case, since we want to have this one posted um, immediately, we're just using a past date. So now that this is passed, this would be ready to be approved. So whenever make.com will be running this scenario, it will be posted. All right, you can see that it has been posted again. So successfully, we have also uploaded a video. Let's double check that it also works with text. And here, when we put this scenario live, we would have it check every two hours whether there is any post that should be posted. It is not exactly on the time that is mentioned here, but this will be something that we will fix in the next scenario next video so uh, please subscribe to to get a notification when that video is live and now let's check whether the text posting is working correctly yep yeah, i can see notification on slack and there is a text only message from the bot since we have selected this as a bot and we will like it all right so i hope this is useful for you to get any type of content sharing to your community slack channels or you can also use it the same way to send for any type of post a confirmation that this post has been posted so you could for example remove the slack channel here so you could remove that filter if you remove this filter this would be posted for any type of social media post that you are creating this way you can also inform internal team that those posts have been created and posted so that's another way how to use it all right i hope this was useful for you guys and if it was please like please press the like button yes so the youtube knows that this is useful for people and it gives me opportunity to produce more thank you so much guys please like and subscribe thank you bye